This year's World Tourism Day is extra special due to increase in international travel after a pandemic gap of over two years. In Kenya alone, according to the Tourism Research Institute 2022, international visitors this year have grown to 924,812 as compared to 483,246 recorded in the same period in 2021. Kenya has also earned 167 billion Kenya shillings this year, doubling the previous year earnings of 83 billion Kenya shillings. The launch of the day was received with enthusiasm from the procession starting at this city center to Michuki Park. So to now hope the opportunity itatufungulia milango tumeka kwa nyumba corona ndio hiyo sisi ni wazazi umeona wa mama ame dance hapo hiyo ngoma nyingine ni wa mama wazee wote wako na wajuku so kila mtu anahitaji kula na sisi sisi wote maloya hatuwezi kula kwa sinia moja the promises made by Sakaja's administration to support the creative industry was also the highlight of the day so hiyo promise ya Sakaja metupatia hatu na expect halls ifanye Tuna expect pesa zikuwe, tuna expect kukonka show za huku kwetu kabla wanze kutuambia story za maju, sijui nini, watu pe show za huku kwanza. Tukenda show tunadharawiwa, tuna more promotion kwa konda culture, kukonda nini unajia tuna present culture yetu ya kikenya. Na ya mastu tukwe recognize the hile kukua, tunaona ekane wa heo. Huku chini ya kuna kitu tunapataga, ukienda show maybe watu wana kuchukulia tu you are nothing, but... Now Sakaja metfungulia njia, na tunahopu yu njia menya tfungulia ni ya ikwe true, na yu ya promise enya metpromise, tutashukuru sana. However, persons living with disabilities decried lack of inclusivity in the tourism sector. Getting simple things like ramps in our hotels, having sanitary, having toilets that are PWD friendly, having things like uh, effigies in our museums whereby a person who comes and is visually impaired doesn't know how a giraffe looks like but at least when you touch because uh, we the eyes we our eyes are just our hands so when you touch something is when you know that actually this is this something in kilifi county residents want the government to fast track the expansion of international travels at the malindi airport to boost tourism. We are not asking for any other support. We are not asking for any help, any funds or anything. We will do everything as tourism stakeholders, but the government has to give us the open skies policies. There shouldn't be any further delay as far as the expansion of Malindi International Airport is concerned. It is one of the solutions that is required and required immediately. Once this is done, then we are going to see a great influx of uh, tourists uh, in Mali. And we are looking forward to him to be able to help us to expand the runway so that other aircrafts can also land here directly. We have uh, airlines like uh, Emirates and even Ethiopian, um, Ethi Ethiopian Airlines. They wanted to land here, but seriously they have not been given permission and also the issue of the short runway is a hindrance. Nakuru County was also not left behind. At the Nyayo grounds, residents and stakeholders showcased the different delicacies that the county has to offer, saying food is one way to reach the hearts of tourists. So, watu ambao wangetaka kuja muji huu mpia wanakuru, wanauliza, nakuru muna kuwana chikula gani? Tumeweza kuandaa vyakura aina tharathini tofauti, ambao tunawanyisha ile vyakura ambao zikuwa hapa mnudu. Tumeleta watu na kabila tafauti to showcase their food here and uh, there's a lot of culture diversity here and uh, I'm just happy that Nakuru is shining and we're able to celebrate this auspicious day. With this year's theme being rethinking tourism, the community and the international scene are in agreement that more needs to be done to foster awareness on the importance of tourism and its social, cultural, political and economic value. Harriet Chimea, K24.